Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, GTR Mac Tutorial. So for today's video, uh, we will discuss the Euler's Theorem. So before this topic, you should have a prior no knowledge about Euler's Totian Function. So here's the, here's the link for the Euler's Totian Function. Okay, so definition, if A and N are co-prime, so meaning uh, relatively prime, the GCD of the two numbers must be 1. So if A and N are co-prime and positive integers, then A to the phi of N is congruent to 1 modulo N. Okay, so we have three examples for the Euler's theorem. Okay, so let's solve number 1. So let's solve number 1. Uh, solve 7 to the 99th power modulo 15. So we, got, we cannot solve this using the just ordinary uh, scientific calculator. So that uh, so we will use the Euler's theorem. So according to the Euler's theorem, A and N must be co-prime. So A here is the 7 and then N is the modulus, the 15. So 7 and 15 are co-prime. That means the G's, they, are, they don't have any common factor. Okay? So therefore, we can apply the Euler's Totian function. So we have or, or Euler's theorem. We can apply the Euler's theorem. So we have 7 to the P of 15. 7 to the P of 15 that is congruent to 1 modulo modulo 15. Okay? So let's solve the P of P of 15. So we, we factor first the 15. 15 is equal to 5 times 3. So 5 and 3 are prime. So therefore, P of 15, that is equal to 5 minus 1, we have 4. And then 3 minus 1, we have 2. So therefore, P of 15, that is equal to 4 times 2, we have 8. So our... Uh, Congruence is 7 to the P of 15, so we have 7 to the 8, congruent to 1 modulo 15. Okay? So we want to solve, we want to solve 7 to the 99th power. Okay? So we have 7 to the 8, congruent to 1. We can raise both sides of this congruence to make it 99. Okay, so let's divide 99 divided by 8. 99 divided by 8, that is equal to 12.375 or 99 is equal to equal to 8 times 8 times 12. So 8 times 12, that is 96. So we have remainder of 3. Okay, so therefore 7 to the 8. Uh, let's raise both sides of this congruence to 7 to the 8 raised to 12 power and then congruent to 1 raised to the 12 power modulo 15. Okay? 7 to the 8 raised to 12, that is equal to 96. So 8 times 12, so the right side, the left side will be 7 raised to 96. So, congruent to 1 to the 12 power is, is still 1. Still 1, and then we have modulo 15. We want to solve 7 to the 99th power. So, therefore, we need to multiply both sides of this congruence by 7 to the 96 times 7 cubed. So, that when we add this, the answer is the exponent will be 99. Okay? So, multiply both sides 1 multiply to 7 to the third power, and then we have modulo 15. Okay? So apply the law of exponents. So we have 7 raised to 96 plus 3. We have 99. So that is congruent to 7 cubed. That is equal to 343. So 343 modulo 15. Now let's just find the remainder when 343 is divided by 15. So 7 to the 99th power is congruent to, so we have modulo 15. Let's express 343 
to 15 times what number and then plus the remainder. So 343 divided by 15, that is equal to 22. So 343 is equal to 15 times 22. So 15 times 22, that is 330. 330 subtract to 343. So therefore, the remainder is 13. Therefore, the value of 7 raised to 99 modulo 15 is 13. Okay? So next example, number 2. What is the remainder when remainder of 13 to the 62? 62nd power when divided by 99. Okay? So first condition, the A and N must be co-prime. So A in this example is 13 and N is 99. 13 is a prime number. So therefore, 13 and 99, they don't have common factor. 99 is not divisible by 13. Okay? 99 divided by 13, so that is 7.61. So 13 and 99 are co-prime. So therefore, we can use the Euler's theorem. Okay? So let's apply the Euler's theorem to number 2 in finding the remainder. So let's just replace we have 13 to the 62 so our base will be 13 and then our n is 99 okay so replace 15 by 99 and then we have totient of or phi of 99 okay so let's us solve first the totient of 99 or phi of 99 so we factor 99 99 is equal to prime factors, 99, so that is 9 times 11, and then 9 is 3 squared. So therefore, 99 is equal to 3 squared times 11. So therefore, the P of 99, P of 99 is equal to 99 times 1 minus reciprocal of 3, we have 1 third, and then 1 minus reciprocal of 11, so 1 over 11. Okay, so we have 99. When we subtract this, 1 minus 1 third, that is equal to 2 thirds. And then 1 minus 1 over 11, that is 10 over 11. Then let's simplify 99 divided by 3, that is equal to 33. And then 33 divided by 11, that is equal to 3. Then let's multiply 3 times 2, that is 6, times 10 is equal to 60. Therefore, we have 13 raised to phi of 99 is equal to 60. So we have 13 raised to 60 is congruent to 1 modulo 99. Okay? So we want to solve the value of, or we want to find the remainder of 13 to the 62nd power when divided by 99. So we need to multiply by 13 squared, both sides of this congruence, so that we can solve that 13 to the 62nd power. Okay, so we have 13 to the 60, 60 times 13 squared, so multiply both sides, so we have 1 times 13 squared, and then we have modulo 99. Apply the law of exponents, so we have same base of 13, just add the exponent, 60 plus 2, we have 13 to the 62. That is congruent to 1 times 13 squared. 13 squared, that is equal to 169. So we have modulo 99. Okay? Since 169 is greater than 99, so let's just subtract. 169 minus 99, that is equal to 70. So we have 70 modulo 99. 13 raised to 62 is congruent to 70 modulo 99. So this is the remainder of 13 raised to 62 when divided by 99. Okay, so 70 is the answer. Okay, so for our last example, find the remainder when 5 raised to 43rd power plus 3 is divided by 16. Okay, so let us... Check first if we can use the Euler's theorem. So our base is 5. 
and the modulus is 16. So 5 and 16, they do not have common factor or the GCD is 1. So mean, that means they are relatively prime. So therefore, we can use the Euler's theorem. So 5 is our base. So we replace this by 5. And then we have modulus is, 99, uh, is 16. So re let's replace this by 16. And then we have 5 raised to phi of the n. So phi of 16. Okay. P of 16 is congruent to 1 modulo 16. So we want to find the remainder of 5 raised to 43rd power plus 3 divided by 16. So let us solve first the P of 16. So 16, that is equal to prime factor of 16. So that is 2 to the 2 to the 4th power. So that is 16. Okay? So therefore, the P of 16 is equal to 16 times 1 minus the reciprocal of 2, we have 1 half. Okay? So we have 16 times 1 minus 1 half. So that's, uh, that is 1 half. 16 times 1 half, that is equal to 8. So therefore, 5 to the 8th power is congruent to 1 modulo 16. Okay? So now, we want the exponent to be 43. So let's divide 43 by 8. 43 divided by 8, that is 5. So that means remainder, remainder 3. So therefore, we need to raise both sides of the congruence by, by 5. 5 raised to 8. Let's raise this by 5 and also the one here, 1 to the p power. So 5 to the 8 raised to the p power. So just multiply 8 times 5. We have 5 raised to 40 congruent to 1 to the fifth is still 1. So, modulo 16. Okay? So, 5 raised to 43. So, we need to multiply both sides of this congruence by 5 to the third power. Okay? So, we have 5 raised to 40 times 5 to the third power is congruent to 1 times this. Multiply this by 5 cube and then we have modulo 16. So combine or add the exponents since we have same base. So we have 5 to the 43rd power is congruent to 5 cubed. That is equal to 5 times 5, 25 times another 5. We have 125 modulo 16. Okay? So 5 raised to 43, that is congruent to 125. Let us divide by 16. So 125, that is equal to 16 times what number? and then plus the remainder. So 125 divided by 16, that is equal to 7. Okay? 16 times 7, that is equal to 112. So 112 subtract to 125. 125 minus 112, that is equal to 13. So therefore, the remainder of 5 raised to 43 is equal to 13. Is equal to 13. So we have 13 modulo 16. So this is not yet the final answer. We have here 5 to the 43 plus 3. So therefore, we need to add, add 3 to both sides. Add 3 here. So we have 5 raised to 43 plus 3. That is congruent to 13 plus 3. 13 plus 3, we have 16 modulo 16. So we have same remainder 16 modulo 16. So that means there is no remainder. So this is congruent to 16 modulo 16, that is 0. So we have 0 modulo 16. 5 raised to 43 plus 3 is congruent to 0 modulo 16. So therefore, there is no remainder or the remainder is 0 when 5 raised to 43 plus 3 is divided by 16. Okay, so that's all. So thank you for, for watching. Bye-bye.